Hey, hi, how are you? It's Stacy, and I'm here today, and I am, I just finished up a review for Wayward Children, and I am now going to review, um, now I'm going to review Peter S. Beagle's The Last Unicorn, and the short story Two Hearts by Peter S. Beagle as well. Um, I, pretty sure, I finished, it took me a little bit of time to finish the Last Unicorn because I love the movie so much that it took me a long time, like all month, to finish the book. Um, but when I did finish it, I was like, I don't understand why I haven't read this book before because of how much I love the movie. I mean, the question and the answer like have the same, they're like two sides, I mean the same thing. Like I feel like the reason I didn't read the books because I love the movie so much, but why didn't I read the book? Because I love the movie so much. It just doesn't make sense. So, um, I ended up giving The Last Unicorn five stars. I, I loved it. It is so much more deep than the movie, even though I love the movie so much. Like, the, the book is so much deeper. His writing is really, really good. Like, it doesn't explain every single little thing, which is fine. You leave yourself to, it leaves you to imagine and to fill in the spaces that are left. Um, and two hearts, man. I just, it was only like, it's only like 40 pages long. It's a short story. And I was like crying at the end of it and just to get to the end of those two stories and to be done with those characters just broke my heart and I cried and it was sad and but I really loved it so both of those stories I gave five stars I the story for for sure it was five stars I think maybe I would love to have been able to know more about the characters like I don't see I wouldn't say no to more books learning more about Molly Grew and Schmendrick the Magician and Amalthea and the Unicorn and Lear um but it's told in such a like fairy tale way where you don't get all the descriptions you don't get all the you don't get everything like there's time passed and you don't get those stories that are in between the times that they're telling about so there's a lot of stuff you don't know and that's a little like I would like more but overall like the, the books were so good and I just don't understand why it took me so long to read them that's crazy to me so um, I'm glad I finally read them I might actually pick more books up by Peter Spiegel I'm not sure like what else he's really written um, a lot of there's a lot of short stories collections that are edited by him or that include stories by him that I would be willing to pick up because I've been in, I have been obsessed with unicorn since I was like born basically I had like my whole room as a child was decked out in unicorns I had a unicorn comforter pillowcases curtains like I have Currently, right now, I have a collection of unicorn figurines that are, like, I have at least 20. And that's after, like, culling some of the ones that I, like, were, that I found, you know, a bunch of them growing up in, like, thrift stores. And they were, like, slightly broken. And when I became an adult and I have limited space, I culled a lot of the ones that were just, like, really easy to find, like, ceramic, slightly broken unicorns. And now I only have, like, ones that I, um either have got get been given so the gifts or they're like super special to me because somebody specific gave them to me or I really like the design of them um maybe someday I'll go and do a video of my unicorn collection I don't know um I'm not sure anybody would be really interested in that but I have been obsessed with unicorns since I was little and so I have always loved the last unicorn and legend and Unicorns and unicorns and unicorns and unicorns. Okay. I'm still, I kind of, I called a book 
of unicorns um, a few years ago and man I am regretting it like that was dumb to get rid of that but whatever um if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up think about subscribing and joining the conversation on my channel and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend um it's supposed to be sunny here hopefully the rain and snow will dry up because our backyard is a lake a very big lake that has poop in it because we have a dog um but i hope it dries out because it's too wet and yeah so i will see you in my next video bye